Good morning. This is Gelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Easter Sunday. We also have your Border Musters coming up, but first, our top story. The winner of this year's Kelloland Remarkable Women Contest is Melissa Ditburner for her work in addiction recovery. Ditburner says she's humbled by the honor. She'll receive a $1,000 prize, which will go to the nonprofit she helped start that works to provide free health and addiction prevention services to people experiencing homelessness in Sioux Falls. Ditburner will represent South Dakota as a finalist for next star's National Woman of the Year. Pure Boy Scouts of America Troop 27 celebrated a rare occasion last night with a court of honor ceremony for six new Eagle Scouts. Eagle is the highest rank in Boy Scouts. In the past century, less than 5% have done so nationwide. Asher Oxford, an eighth grader, was one of the six honored and is the youngest Eagle Scout Troop 27 has ever had. At first, it was very, I was really scared because I had no idea what I was going to expect. And then every rank, I just got more comfortable. But every rank just threw me new surprises that I never thought I'd learn. But I'm really grateful that I did this because I learned a lot of stuff that I think everyone should know. Requirements to become an Eagle Scout include earning 21 merit badges and completing a service project. Congratulations to all six Eagle Scouts. The Powerball jackpot is getting even bigger after no one matched all six numbers in last night's drawing. That means the jackpot for tomorrow night's drawing will be worth an estimated $975 million. No one has won Powerball's top prize since New Year's Day. That's 38 consecutive drawings without a jackpot winner. Dozens of families gathered in downtown Sioux Falls for the 6th annual Easter egg hunt. Many of the shops along Phillips Avenue helped children fill their Easter baskets with eggs and candy. And while it was a magical time for them, it also helped businesses bring in people who may not usually stop by. Sponsors them and promotes them and gets their name out there. And... Yeah, lots of people get to go out and see all the new locations that they've never been to before. Around 20 downtown businesses took part in the Easter egg hunt. Let's take a first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Adam Rutten in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, everybody, and happy Easter. It is a messy Easter Sunday out there. We have a little bit of everything to talk about this morning, so let's get right to it. We'll start with a view from our camera in Wagner on this Easter Sunday morning. Rain at first, but we're seeing that switch over to snow over the last about 15 to 30 minutes. And speaking of snow, we're going to see a bit of a delay in the transition here. We're going to go from Wagner over to Platt, and there there is that plaque camera and there is that snow that I mentioned before. Uh, we are seeing that a moderate to a times heavier snow come around. So please, again, be careful with any Easter Sunday plans that you may have. Compare that to uh, what we have here in downtown Sioux Falls. Yeah, it's a gray day, but at least it's dry for now. 35 an easterly breeze at seven miles per hour. And that's not even touching upon the fog out to the west which we'll get to in a moment. But for now, we'll look at the temperature where we're sending in the low to mid 30s across much of the area and where we have moisture in place. That rain snow line is going to be rather fickle and it is going to heavily dictate just what kind of mess you have to deal with on this Easter Sunday. But either way, we're at 35 in Spencer, 32 for Pier, Aberdeen and Rapid City, 30 from Buffalo to Spearfish, 34 from Mitchell and Huron, Mulbridge sitting at 33 with winter. The wind isn't a big issue right now, but it is starting to pick up and we'll continue to do so out of the east by northeast as we head through the afternoon. We'll talk about that rain snow chance today, the fog out west as well, uh, your April Fool's Day outlook, which unfortunately isn't looking all that great either, but we have some good weather in there, a lot to unpack. We'll break down the details coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, when people fall upon hard times, whether it's homelessness, unemployment, or addiction, a Rapid City nonprofit is there to help. The One Heart program offers hands on help and programs to empower people to bring positive changes to their lives. They work with several organizations to provide a personalized program that helps people get back on their feet. You'll learn more about their mission coming up tonight on Eye on Kelloland at 10. The High V store on South Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls is hosting an Easter brunch until 2 p.m. The cost is $25 for adults, $8 for children, and free for kids under 6. Sioux Falls grocers are offering deals on their Easter dinner staples. The Franklin Food Market is open until 2 p.m. with discounts on items including russet potatoes and shank ham portions. 
Sunshine Foods in downtown Sioux Falls has its regular business hours today, going until 9 p.m. tonight. The Easter deals include Hormel Bone-In Half Ham, Potatoes, and Canned Vegetables. Movies playing at the Historic State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls include Easter Parade, rated G, and Peter Rabbit, rated PG. Enjoy all the action from the basketball court during the NCAA Men's National Tournament here on, on Kelloland TV. CBS Sports coverage begins at noon central time with the road to the Final Four. That's followed by regional finals games starting at 1 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. Kelloland Weekend News at 5.30 will air on Kello Extra. Adam? No, the Rapid City camera is not broken. Yes, it is that foggy out in western South Dakota. 32 a northeasterly breeze at 7 miles per hour out that way. I typically don't put in an extra camera at this point, but I am just because of how thick the fog is out that way and with Easter Sunday uh, services being undertaken as well. So please be careful. We do have a dense fog advisory in effect for everybody shaded in gray, including the entirety of the Black Hills up toward Belfouche and Dubuque County and uh, the route the entirety of Meade County, Pennington County out toward Wall as well. This will be until noon mountain time today. Visibility will be below a quarter mile at times that combined with the rain and snow opportunities in place today. You will want to plan accordingly and make sure you get to where you need to be safely. I mentioned the moisture. This is what I'm talking about. Take a look uh, down near and south of the I-90 corridor. That rain snow line is going to be, to put it mildly, tricky in terms of the fact that we are just hovering right around that freezing mark on either side of it uh, for many locations near and south of I-90 at the moment. That's why we've been seeing rain in a couple of areas like toward uh, Wagner, but if you went out toward Platt and Gregory, it has switched over to snow. So again, be careful as you go about the start of your day. We're going to see those rain and snow chances linger through the day, and it's just going to be outright snow out toward the hills. Winter weather advisory in effect for the Black Hills going into 6 a.m. Mountain Time Monday morning. Several inches of snow will be likely localized higher amounts in the highest elevations toward locations like Lead and Deadwood, for example. Now, as we go through the rest of your Easter Sunday, we will see a switch over to rain in areas that get into the 40s this afternoon. So the farther south and east you go. Either way, it's still going to be a messy Easter Sunday in many locations. Overnight into Monday morning, we get redevelopment with snow out to the west and the rain and snow chances to the east and southeast, where again, we could see some light accumulation in uh, several locations. Keep this in mind for April Fool's Day, but by Tuesday, we do get a lot of improvement in place. We clear out. And we gradually begin a very nice warm up that will take us into the end of the week. But this is the odds of at least one inch of snow or more beginning now going through Monday evening. A low to moderate opportunity towards Sioux Falls, Watertown, Mowbridge and Aberdeen. Higher opportunities toward Huron, Chamberlain and then West River where you guys get more snow than rain. If we were to put that up to at least three inches of snow or more. Again, the bullseye is out toward western and southwestern portions of South Dakota including the Black Hills, where we'll have that colder air lingering for a little while longer. But the cold air doesn't last. Odds for above average temperatures are favored, especially the farther east you go into eastern South Dakota and then east of the I-29 corridor. So there is something to look forward to. We just have to get through a bit of a mess today and tomorrow. So for Easter Sunday, be careful as you go about your day. 30s and 40s for highs, the latter more likely south and east. With overnight low temperatures tonight dropping into the 20s and low 30s, we'll still have rain, snow, if not outright snow chances possible in a couple of areas. And that wind is also going to pick up as we head into your day on April Fool's Day, where we have, again, 30s and 40s for highs. And again, a chance for rain and snow showers in place. More so rain the farther south and east you go, where we'll have those highs in the low to mid 40s. The rest of your seven day forecast outside of Sunday and Monday is looking very nice. 50s and eventually 60s by the end of the week and into the weekend. I just think those warm thoughts as you go through your day today in Sioux Falls and in Aberdeen, where we'll have highs in the 40s with that rain snow chance in place, but we'll be partly to mostly sunny for the rest of the week and we'll get into the 60s by the weekend. For Pierre, 
Rain and snow possible today and Monday snow overnight. And then we'll also have that rather nice run Tuesday into Saturday getting back into the upper 60s with a few rain showers possible Saturday evening. For Rapid City, a better chance for rain by Saturday. Uh, but until we get to that point, we'll also have to contend with snow today, tonight and Monday out that way, not to mention those foggy conditions as well. But you have something nice to look forward to 70 by Thursday and Friday. Stay safe and have a happy Easter, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.